है टूडे थॉट ऑफ मेकिंग ए वीडियो ऑन द मोल कंसेप्ट विच सम स्टूडेंट्स फाइंड रियली डिफिकल्ट टू डील विथ बट एक्चुअली इट इज अ वेरी सिंपल पार्ट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री ओके लेट सी हाउ टू मेक इट सिंपल what is meant by mole mole is you have studied it is the si unit for amount of a substance so how would you define mole mole is the amount of a substance that contains as many particles these particles can be atoms molecules ions formula units whatever okay as there are atoms in 12 gram of carbon 12 isotope that means how many atoms are there in carbon 12 isotope of carbon those many particles will be there in one mole of a substance so it is the amount of substance which contains particles as there are atoms in 12 gram of carbon 12 isotope of carbon you know carbon has uh, different isotopes carbon 12 13 14 so we are taking the carbon 12 isotope here as the standard clear or we can also define it as the amount of substance that contains avogadro number of particles mean number means 6.022 into 10 raised 23 particles i'll make it simpler this is one pen right i have one pen in my hand suppose i take two such identical it should be identical okay so i'm taking two such identical pens then i will call it as a pair right if i put 12 such identical pens i will call it as a dozen similarly if i put 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 such pens i will call it as one mole of this pen understand so it is the amount of the substance which contains 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 particles in it so that amount of the substance which holds 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 particles in it that is called one mole of the substance hope it is crystal clear right now let's see some important formulas to calculate number of moles which are very very important when you deal with your class 11 and class 12 chemistry as well as your je and neat preparation so let's see what are these shortcut formulas number 1 number of moles is equal to mass in grams by molar mass number of moles is mass in grams by molar mass i have taken an example here you have to calculate the number of moles in 11 gram of carbon dioxide so how will you calculate it you can see number of moles the symbol is small n is equal to mass in grams 11 gram of carbon dioxide so 11 mass in grams divided by molar mass of carbon dioxide is 44 sometimes will be given sometimes you have to calculate it 12 plus 16 into 2 32 plus 12 you are getting 44 so 11 by 44 you'll be getting 1 by 4 or 0.25 moles clear simple the next one is number of moles is equal to number of particles divided by avogadro number this number of particles can be atoms molecules ions formula units etc as i told you before so i have taken an example here you have to calculate the number of moles in 3.011 into 10 raised to 22 molecules of carbon dioxide how will you calculate it number of moles is equal to number of particles here the particles are molecules so 3.011 into 10 raised to 22 divided by avogadro number avogadro is constant it is 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 so what will you be getting this is 2 here so 1 by 2 that is 0.5 into this is 10, 22 and 110 will remain here 22 will cancel 22 here so it is 0.5 into 10 raised to minus 1 so it's getting 0.05 moles clear so 0.5 into 10 raised to minus 1 this is how you can calculate the number of moles if you are given number of particles hope that's also clear in next formula number of moles is equal to given volume at stp in liters divided by 22.4 
here we are using this 22.4 liters, which is the molar volume. What is meant by molar volume? It is the volume occupied by one mole of any gas at STP. That is 22.4 liters. So 22.4 liters is the volume of one mole. So if you are given a given volume at STP in liter, just divided by 22.4 liters, you will get how many moles are there. For example, calculate the number of moles in 1.12 liter of carbon dioxide at STP. How will you calculate it? What is the formula? Number of moles is equal to given volume at STP. Here, 1.12 liter of carbon dioxide at STP. So it is 1.12 liter divided by 22.4 liters. So you are getting 0 0.05 moles. Very simple. If you know these formulas, you can easily do such questions. Okay. So these are all conceptual ones. Now, next one. The last formula, number of moles is equal to molarity of the solution into volume of the solution in liter. This we are getting from molarity formula actually, this is in the converted formula. So number of moles is equal to molarity in the volume of the solution in liter. Let's see how to do one question based on it. Calculate the number of moles in 25 ml of 0.75 molar HCl. So how will you calculate number of moles? Molarity into volume of the solution in liter, right? So what is the molarity? Molarity is 0.75 into, here there is a trap set, the volume is in milliliter. So you have to convert it into liter. That is 25 ml divided by 1000 or multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3. So you will be getting 0 0.01. 875 moles. These are four important formulas what we have discussed today. First one, number of moles is equal to mass in grams by molar mass. Second one, number of moles is equal to number of particles divided by Avogadro number. Third one, number of moles is equal to given volume at STP in liters divided by 22.4. And the last one, number of moles is equal to Molarity into volume of the solution in liter. So practice these formulas and you can ace these areas in whether it is school exam or board exam or JNAT. Okay, any competitive examinations. So good luck and keep watching and please do like, share, subscribe and comment. Okay, I want to see your comments below my video so that I will get motivated. Okay? Thank you very much.